Hey gang, David Henry from Inspired Tennis. Hope you're doing well. Hey, I'm going to do one of these videos over here in front of uh, the whiteboard today as opposed to behind the string machine. And I want to talk about cutting the tails, okay? So basically when you tie off a string and you tie your knot, then you're left with that long tail of, of a you know, certain length of string left over that you need to cut off the tail, okay? And so, you know, with cutting off the tails, you can do a couple of things, or three things. You can do it too short, you can do it too long, or you can do it just right, okay? And let's talk about too short, okay? The problems with too short, if you cut that tail too short, then you have problems with the knot maybe not holding as well and even slipping through. If that tail's too short, it can kind of slip through, okay? So you definitely don't want to cut the tail too short. Too long, you don't want to cut it too long either because um, too long can A, just kind of look poor if you've got this real long tail sticking, sticking out. Um, and then it can also kind of snag your hand from time to time. I mean, sometimes you're moving your, your hand around the edge of your frame or holding your racket or whatever. And if you've got this tail sticking out, um, it can kind of snag your hand, especially if it's like a stiff, sharp poly. I mean, it's not going to cut you. It's not going to do any damage, but it can just be annoying. Okay. And so what you want to aim for is cutting the tail just right. Okay. So let me move over here. So what is just right? Well, in my opinion, it is about a quarter of an inch. So basically from where the, where the knot ends and the tail sticks out, make that tail about a quarter of an inch, okay? And that's just a real general rule because, um, you know, frames are different, different widths, okay? But really a, a, a better rule is actually what I have listed here. It says just inside the frame. So basically if you run, if you run your finger or your thumb around the edge of the frame right on the outside, you shouldn't be able to feel the tail sticking out, okay? The tail should be just inside the frame. And you can't see it here. I'm not going to try to get close enough to show you, but you know what I mean. Just right inside the, inside the frame, the edge of the frame, is a perfect place, in my opinion, to uh, cut the tails, okay? And then there, there's one more thing that I want to touch upon um, when cutting the tails. A very important uh, step is that pull the tail away from the frame, okay? So when you're getting ready to cut the, uh, cut the tail, let me put that racket down. When you're getting ready to cut the tail, so you've got this long piece of string, this tail that you're holding on to, and um, depending on what type of knot you tie, but I generally use a Parnell knot, you know, that tail is resting right up against the frame. Um, and so if I take my, my snips and kind of go down in there and try to cut it right there, there is a chance that I could slip and nick of the frame and nick off a little piece of paint, okay? And it's just something you don't want to do to your racket and definitely something you don't want to do to a client's racket. It's just uh, not a sign of professionalism and, and something you want to avoid. So um, a good rule of thumb, really simple, something easy to do, you just got to remember to do so, is take that tail, kind of pull it away from the frame a little bit so that you've got room to get your snips in there, cut it, and then then the tail will push back against the edge of the frame and you're fine. And that way you've avoided a uh, costly error. So um, just a couple little tips on cutting tails that I wanted to pass along to you today. Hope that helps. Um, that's all I have. Thanks for checking in.